Hi everyone, this is Austin Gilbert with the Athens County Public Libraries showing you how to sign up for an e-library card from the comfort of your own home. An e-library card is available to anyone 18 and up who lives in Ohio or a neighboring county in West Virginia. An e-library card allows you access to all of our e-resources such as e-books, e-audiobooks, e-magazines and newspapers, music, movies, and TV in addition to many more. In order to register for an e-library card, we'll start out by going to our website, myacpl.org. From there, we are going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where we see the Get a Card button. We're going to click on this, and it will describe to you the three different library cards that you can get. A full access account, a limited access account, or an e-library account, which is what we are looking at today. Here, it'll give you more details about the e-library account, which you can read through at your own speed. At the very bottom, we're going to click Register for an e-library account, which will take you to this form that you will then fill out. Now, to save time, I've done so before recording this video. So we're switching over here to all of our information filled out already, and let's go through it one by one. For the library, you'll select your home library. And the, in, in the case of an e-library account, it doesn't matter too much which one you pick. However, if you choose to upgrade this to a full account, the home library will be the library to which all of your held physical items will arrive. So if you go to the Athens library, most often you can choose Athens as your home library and anything you put on hold will be sent there. Likewise, if you live out in Albany, you can choose Albany as your home library. Anything you put on hold will be sent out to Albany automatically. For us, we're going to choose Athens. For your identity, you will fill in your last name, your first name, and your date of birth. Moving down, you'll fill in your address, which I've done so right here, city, state, and zip code. Next, you'll put in your contact information. A phone number is optional, but recommended. An email address, however, is required. So you do need an existing email account that you can access in order to sign up for an e-library card. Next, you'll choose a password. This is a password for your e-library account. It must be at least four characters long. And if you do not enter a, enter a password, one will be created for you. I would recommend putting in one of your own, preferably a series of numbers and letters that is complicated enough that only you could know it, but it's something that's simple enough for you to remember. You'll put in the password a second time to confirm, and then finally, to verify that you are an actual person filling this form out, you're going to type in whatever letters show up here in the bottom of the screen, which I've already done. I'm going to hit Submit, and it will now ask us to check our email that we use to sign up for the eLibrary account because they've sent us a confirmation email. So I'm going to go over to my email account, check, see what's come up, and I have here an email from nelpill at myacpl.org. I'm going to just click it. There is a verification link for me to click on, so I'll do that. where it will eventually, in a few seconds, maybe up to a minute depending on how fast your computer is, it will take us to our completed registration. Here it will show us our username, which is our name separated by a period, the password that we've created, and our card number. Now please take note of these three pieces of information. Preferably write them down and save them in a place that you can remember and easily access. Your username and your password will be what you use to log into your ACPL library account. Your card number you will want to take note of because it does not show up on your account page right now. So make sure you have all of this written down before moving on to using your eLibrary account. From here, we can log in, test user, and our password, which I've set to 1234. We will log in, and now we are in our my ACPL library account. From here, you can use your username, 
password, and library card to take advantage of our many e-resources. If you have further questions, you can contact one of your friendly faces at your local library branch. Thank you, and have a good day.